Hi, I'm Bill Stewart, and what I want to show you is a new design. I've taken every concept that I've done, melted it into one design that works for everybody. We make these from five foot eight to eight feet long, and everybody that's gotten one has been absolutely shocked. Let me show you some of the features on this board. I started the S-Rail quite a few years ago. This is the S-Rail where the thing steps down. It holds the thickness in the tail, but gives you that thin, thin, bitey tail. One of the other features on this board, it is a double wing pin, and it, and it has an incredibly unique shape. Now let's look at something really crazy. This is a five fin board. Originally I designed this with uh, five fin boxes because I wanted it like a Swiss Army knife that you could ride it the way you wanted. And what happened was, I put all these fins in. This is the scimitars, the pivot, and the trailer from the Future Fin Company. What happened was, I wrote it the way it is, not one person has said this thing doesn't ride it absolutely perfect. From top pros like Jeff Kramer and Colin McPhillips and some of my younger team riders have tried this, it's phenomenal. So some of the other features on this board is it's a double concave back in the tail, and you can see that it has two really nice concaves. It continues all the way to a very deep single concave that runs almost all the way to the end of the nose. This board rides, it paddles really big, but rides incredibly short. So one of the other features in this board is the uh, beveled rail. And this is this beveled rail I invented 20 years ago. It planes on a smaller surface, makes the rails very, very forgiving because it's angled up. And if you look over here, I'll show you some examples of how this thing works. This is the bevel right here. You can see how the rail's angled, tipped up like this. So when you come off the top, it doesn't load up. And this is the S rail where it steps down. So you got that thin, thin, bitey tail, the flotation in the tail for paddle power. And the board has performed beyond our comprehension. It's called the S winger. Uh, we sell two to five per day since the thing has been invented. Not one single person has been unhappy with this board. And as crazy as these fins look, they uh, don't drag like you would think. You would think five fins would resist the water, but they're so thin and so perfectly foiled, there's absolutely no resistance. Most of the riders would say they, the board rides better if you take a little wider stance on it. The scimitars actually have concaved uh, in the fin, which is kind of cupped. For some reason, that fin makes this board magic. The amount of hip curve that it has from the double wings, coming off the top, it just goes straight up and down in the pocket, yet still has that crazy down the line drive that you're looking for. And we've scaled it up mathematically with a dimensional chart so that each person can get it relative to their height and their weight and what paddle power they need. They can get it any way they want. I've got a guy that bought an eight foot one was six foot five and 240 pounds. And we make them as small as 5'8 for people that are 125, 140 pounds. So depending on your ability and what you're trying to do and how old you are, this is the perfect short board for all performance waves. We, this thing is so versatile on small waves and you know, double overhead. We've had no limitations. It's, we've taken it to uh, uh, the outer islands and tested it on very, very steep pocket waves. Because it has five fins, it runs a real high line. And when you turn, it has total bite and acceleration. So if you are thinking about getting a short board, this should be your next one.